again and the 2010 Festnip One has a bold and exciting focus. All the beautiful special women artists have come together this week to really put on a good show and make the audience public who used to think oh, okay it's a male dominated you know industry yes but hey women are getting recognized. Paula Fuga from Hawaii. We have Elena Baravaila from Fiji. We have Erin Gilbert from Solomon Islands and Vanessa Kwai. The theme is women in music and it's been embraced by local bands as well. So I have to young life I have to some female uh, female with some I got some guitarist. I was born and brought up here in uh, Port Vila. I do um, my living on music. I started my music career when I was 10 years old. I live through my music, just compose songs and do albums. I think I've done nine albums already. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of challenges, uh, especially uh, in our culture here in Vanuatu. Like, women don't really stand out. Uh, only the men has, um, yeah, they are they are dominant in everything. Men. I'm just grateful that uh, I can be a role model or a female that can rise in music and um, showing uh, young ladies that, you know, inspire young ladies that they can do something, you know. Thank you for, thank you for sharing your story. So today is ju it was just um, all of us artists who are participating at FestNapon. Our experiences, sharing our experiences in music. It's been, it's been a really incredible journey. The gathering has also presented locals like Vanessa with role models too, including members of one of the showcase acts at this year's festival, a dynamic ensemble called Sing Out Sister. It's amazing to be involved in a project that, um, that identifies the need to include more women in the music industry in the Pacific, uh, specifically because the area of women in the music industry in Australia is something that most of the industry is in denial about. Um, and we don't experience that at all here in the Pacific. In fact, most of the men here, um, uh, given, given the nature of culture here, uh, are actually welcoming uh, to, uh, uh, well, you know, have embraced the idea. Sing Out Sister is an Australian group that's creation was inspired by the Fest Up One theme. Five singer-songwriters with five different backgrounds have come together in Vanuatu, each bringing their songs to share and perform together on stage. I've uh, produced lots of projects in my career that have involved women, and I think, uh, I think there's uh, just such a domination of, of male bands and of men on stage, obviously, through performance. Um, the idea of putting um, some extraordinary um, indigenous women together who have real talent, extraordinary vocal ability and songwriting uh, ability, but also to be able to, to, to share their stories with one another it just seemed like such a um, simple but, but um, great idea. We're singing Miminga. And the language in Miminga is Gumbanga language, which is mum's father's language. And it's, um, I've only just started speaking it. I've never always 
um, sang in my mother's language, something that I've kind of researched and learned for myself as I got older. For me to hear other women kind of sing that language and it's a story about cleansing and about uh, the treatment of mother of our earth. It's very inspiring for me to be around these women. Um, I don't, a lot of the stuff that I do with my own music is very much in the, it's a very non-indigenous I suppose uh, world the music that I do so um, it's really good to actually learn from these different women and it's yeah it's awesome the first song that I'm gonna do I've just translated into Tokpisin so I'll be doing that in Pigeon um, so I'm looking forward to that that might be a bit interesting because I've never done it in Tokpisin The rest of the girls are going to be doing, you know, songs from their own area, like Ajak from her Dinka, Dinka songs. And Medania with her Māori and yeah, it's going to be good. It's been quite an experience for me in Vanuatu, I, don't, I think I've been a little bit ignorant of like the actual Pacific. It, living in New Zealand, I think it's New Zealand, Australia and then all the Samoans that live in Auckland and the Tongans and starting to get a bit more of a, ha a mental picture of how the Pacific works. I come from Australia. Um, I'm an Aboriginal South Sea woman, so I have my Aboriginal side from Bunjalung and then I have a lot of South Sea Islander blood from all over the, all over Vanuatu. I'm singing Black Birded, which is a song I wrote about my heritage. Back in the late 1800s, they stole a lot of people from the islands, kidnapped them, and then took them over to mostly Queensland, and they made them work. They said as indentured labourers, but it's pretty much slavery. And so my heritage dates back from way back then when they brought them over. and offer ideas and present and include a, a lot of role models, which I think are really important, you know, but it's really going to be up to the local community to decide how they, how they actually embrace those challenges. Music Whatever you kill or you boy, music plays everyone. You small, you big. So that's why I think community or organising community law First, now one only make him one good flow work lawyer. Yeah. And that's best of one for another year. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed it. And of course, you can watch that again on our website, australianetwork.com slash Pacific Post. Send us an email, tell us what you think. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.